Hello all and welcome. I'm back in my sewing room. Woohoo! First of all, uh, a huge thank you to everyone who left me some lovely comments on my last vlog. I know it wasn't for all of you. Um, it was all about, well, not all, but some of my knitting makes. I, one lady commented just recently saying she thought they were a little bit too big. Um, I prefer my garments garments to be looser. I don't like tight fitting garments, so I do tend to make things a little bit oversized. That might not be for everyone, but for me, it suits me. Uh, I've always been the same. I am, shall we say, blessed in the chest department and I don't like things tight fitting. So that's why they might look a little bit on the larger side. There we go. Um, I'm thinking about setting up or, or making a separate channel just for knitting because I have been knitting quite a lot recently. So if that's of interest, let me know um, and I will let you know equally if I do anything along those lines. But for now, we're back sewing again. I have three things I've finished so far this week and I have got three things cut out. So yesterday I spent the entire day cutting patterns out and I have cut patterns out. I've taken a leaf out of Judy's book um, and just getting ready to do some sewing, which I'm hoping to get done some of it today. So the first thing I've made is what I'm wearing, which is the, and this has been a hugely popular pattern. It's the Naya t-shirt by Tammy Handmade. I know that Alex Judge has just, um, or she on Friday, she uploaded a vlog um, with a discount code for the Naya t-shirt, which I will put in the description box underneath the vlog. This, love this t-shirt, absolutely love it. I had the pattern for a little while, hadn't made it up, but I came up to my sewing room this week and I thought, I just want to make something that I know that I'm going to wear that is quick and jersey fabrics are not my favourite. I prefer to sew with woven, but I have done everything, made this completely on the overlocker, apart from the top stitching at the bottom, which I've actually had the cover stitch machine, and she says it's over there, the cover stitch machine out for. Now I always struggle with that because I use it so infrequently um, it's a bit of hitting, a bit of a guessing game as to whether or not I'm going to remember how to actually do it, but it's it's worked fine, and I have it as two needle rather than three at the moment. So this t-shirt has a brilliant size range. Now I've chosen to do a straight size twelve. I wouldn't normally do a size twelve. I'm normally sort of a fourteen to sixteen, but the finished garment measurement for a size twelve. I'm just going to grab it here is 49.1 inches, which I thought it's going to give me plenty of ease. That's 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 enough for me. Even the smallest size at a six, the finished garment measurement is 44 and it goes up to 61.5. This is the, the bust measurement I'm talking about here. So brilliant size ranging on there. Um, and everything, I didn't make any other alterations to the pattern. There are three pattern pieces in this pattern fabulous make. Now I, the first one I made was, I will stand up and show you in a second, the first one I made was this one. This was fabric from deep in my darkest stash. So I have no idea where I got it from. It's a, it's a stretch jersey and I thought this one, although it's a little bit brighter than I would normally wear, would look great with some white jeans um, and a, a cardi over there if you need it. But yeah, here we go. Now I have with this one, I have, like I say, it's all overlocked on the inside. I have cover stitched around the bottom and I did with this one cover stitch around the, the that's the back, around the, around the neckband at the top here. Is that? Yeah, that's the front, around the top here. So that was the first one. That probably took me, because it was the first time I'd made the pattern, about an hour to make. Then I made this one I'm wearing and I made this one that is on Mabel. Away a little bit. Mabel always fights with me when we do this, doesn't she? This one, both again, stretch jerseys. This fabric was from Walton's fairly recently and I've got quite a bit of this left. And Amy spotted this. I thought it would be completely out of, uh, not, not something that she would like. And she actually says she likes this and wants me to make her a skirt in it which is fine, got plenty of fabric left. 
and just this plain black one. I'll stand up and show you. So comes to here on me, which is the perfect length for me. Like I say, I haven't shortened it, I haven't lengthened it. I'm five foot four, if that helps you. And the top of my jeans are here. And that's it at the back. And there's plenty of ease in it. Love it, absolutely love it. Um, I think this is going to be my go-to t-shirt pattern. And it's very similar to a ready-to-wear one that I wear from Next all the time, which, or the shape is very similar. I mean, there's a bit of fancy bit on the front here, but, um, and I think this is, this is a woven front and a jersey back. So that could be an option, but similar, very similar. So grown on sleeves, cuff round the ends of the sleeves, um, band at the neck, and then you just turn up the bottom. And I've got some scraps left. And what I'd quite like to do is do the um, bands on the cuffs in a different color. Maybe the neckline, I'm thinking of a black and white one, actually. So um, band around the top, band around here, and maybe even a band around the center bit. But I absolutely love this pattern, really love it. I can see this being there being quite a few more of these. And this one, uh, sorry, this one and this other one on Mabel, my Mabel, took me under an hour to make the two because I cut them both out at the same time and then just sort of back sewed them. I didn't do the cover stitching around the neckline band on this, didn't think it needed it, it sits really nicely, but I did do it around the bottom. Yeah, really quick. Right, so the next one I've, when I was cutting out yesterday, um, I've cut out my brother, and Simon, if you're watching this, turn off now, otherwise you're gonna see it, has asked me to make him a shirt for his birthday. Now his birthday was last month. I was going to use my standard go-to McCall's pattern, which is the M6044, this one. And if, version A here. Now I've made this several times. I've made it for Andrew. I've made it for my brother-in-law, John. Um, and I thought for, for my brother, Simon, it will be perfect. However, the pattern size that I've got for my husband and my brother-in-law is the next pattern. This is what annoys me about these sort of patterns. If it was an indie pattern, I could have printed it off straight away and chose, I could have chosen the size I needed. I had to buy the pattern again because he's a large. So I now have the small to large. I probably won't use the small or medium in this, but I needed the large and the other size I need for my husband. I find that a bit, that, that niggles me a bit. Anyway, anyway, so I have cut out the patterns straight on the large size because I thought I'm not tracing it out. I really don't think I will use the smaller sizes um, because no one in my family is that size and that's who I tend to sew for. So this was the one I made for my husband. Now I've just dragged this out of the wardrobe so it might be a, a little bit creased. Um, this one, and I have got a picture. We went to Italy last year and I've got a picture of Andrew wearing this and me in one of my Shelby dresses, which I will pop in for you. Um, but yeah, he really likes this one. It is looser on him, but in the warmer weather, it's nice to have that bit of um, breeze, <laughs> fluidity. <laughs> Has got the pocket on here. It is all French seamed on the inside, this one. Did I French seam? Did I French seam the sleeves? Was it? I have French seam the sleeves. Oh my goodness me. Let me show you the inside. I thought I'd check first before I said it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it's totally French seamed. I've impressed myself. <laughs> But yeah, so that was the one I made for Andrew. Now, my brother said he wanted a surf type shirt. I thought I had some more of this fabric left and um, I haven't, I must have used the last bit on this shirt. So I thought, well, what can I use? Um, I did have a darker fabric, but I thought, no, I wanted something a bit brighter. Now he has just taken up um, sailing. So I thought, 
I've got the perfect fabric. It's, oh, it's quite bright. <laughs> Here we go. So, I'm thinking nice, bright, surfy colours, and it's got boats on. We're ticking all the boxes. Um, I have pattern matched the pocket on this one. I watched a vlog from Sam Frugalissima who suggested laying the pattern piece on top of where you're positioning the pocket and draw around the pattern on the actual pattern piece itself, which I have done. And then I've used that to trace out the actual pocket itself and the pattern's matching up perfectly. So that's the next, one of the next things on my um, list to actually make up. That's the second thing. The first thing is Andrew's going away for the weekend. Next weekend coming, he's going to Goodwood. And he asked me, he said, have we got a wash bag? Because he's broken the zip on his. Um, and I said, well, we have, but I'll just make you one. Um, I've got the fabric upstairs. I have got some fleecy. So this is an iron on, iron -on fleece fairly lightweight i have got a thicker one than this but i'm going to use the lighter weight one because i think it will be fine and i've got a couple of fabrics that i've found which i thought would be perfect andrew don't watch we've got this one <laughs> and then the inner fabric is that one but i thought this one was really cute for wash bag now for this one, I am going to use Rachel Stitched Up. Rachel has a tutorial on her um, YouTube channel, which I will link down in the description box. And I've used this loads of times. It's a really, really brilliant tutorial. Uh, you, it's a zip closed, uh, and I will put the. Dis I will, like I say, link that in the description box below. But I've used it loads of times. I've made little project bags for my sister. I'll pop a picture in um yeah so fabulous it doesn't take too long to make that one as well so that's the first thing on my list to make that one and then the final thing that i've cut out is i was watching the sewing bee this week and it was 90s week this week and i can remember wearing cargo pants first time round, and i used to love wearing them i had a range of different colors in cargo pants uh with big pockets on the sides um and I've had this week, I bought a pair from Marks and Spencers maybe two years ago now. So I've, I've actually worn them this week, but they've got an elasticated back and they're three quarter length. Now they're great, but I thought I want them full length and I don't want the elastication, I don't want the elastic around the back. And just as it happens, fold lines sent out because they usually do a um, after the sewing bee they'll normally send an email out with pattern suggestions and they sent out a pattern suggestion for the cargo pants by wardrobe for me so i bought it and i've bought some fabric and i'm going to have a go <laughs> um so yeah i bought the pattern and then i placed an order with toro fabrics and the girls put me um the fabric together along with some buttons and some zips and some threads and Andrew went and picked it up for me yesterday because, you know, I'm in a rush. So this was the fabric. It's a cotton, cotton canvas in this colour. Now, I don't normally wear this colour up here, but I think as a pair of cargo pants with my Naya t-shirt, it looked quite nice. So I've got 2.3 metres. I think for my size, I just said 2.25, so I just went 2.3, and Truro will do increments in their um, fabric. So I got 2.3 meters of this. They then put me the matching thread together with it. You need um, a zip, and this has got a fly zip on it. Uh, what are they called? Can't remember. The pl with a uh, oh, hang on. I think it's called a fly extension. You know what I mean? It's like a covered zip thing. Um, and needles and two lots of buttons because I wasn't in the shop. They didn't know which buttons I wanted. So bless them, they put me two lots in. So there was this one and this one. 
and I think I'm going to go with this one. Now, when I looked at the pattern garment measurements for this one, there's quite a big difference in the waist measurement, as per normal with me, between the waist measurement and the hip measurements. If I went with the waist measurement size, it would be way too big on the hips. And if I go with the hip measurement, it's too small on the waist. However, this one finishes or sits an inch below your belly button. So I'm thinking, well, if I measure that part of me, that's that's not my waist measurement. That's more because my boxy shape. That's more my hip measurement. So I'm going to go with that. I'm putting out a straight size 33, which is a 41 inch hip. Um, the finished garment measurement, or oh, it's 41 inch, 42.5, I think it is, is a finished garment measurement on the hips, which is fine. The finished waist, me waist measurement is not fine. It's too small. But I'm thinking because it sits lower, it should be okay. So what I've done is I have cut out a twelve. So this was this is the back piece, and this is just some white cotton. Um, there's the front, and you can see where you've got the, the um, zip flap here, and then the waistband. So I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to twirl it first just to see if it fits okay and then I'll make adjustments if need to from there. But initially what I was doing was I was trying to grade from I think it was a 36, 35, 36 down to a 33. So there's quite a big difference in the grading I would have to do because I'm larger around the middle than I am in the hips going off um, the standard sizes. It's always been the case. Um, but I didn't know where to grade it because it because of the way the pocket is constructed because you've got front pockets you've got the back pockets would be okay but because the front pockets are connected in i didn't know if it would have an effect on where they sat so i thought right i'm just going to go with the straight size because of where it sits or where it finishes on you and see how we get on so i will let you know once i've made those up so those are my plans so far for this week so the bag shouldn't take me very long the shirt, because I've made it before, shouldn't take me very long. And I do plan to French seam the one I'm making for my brother. And then we'll see how we get on with the cargo pants. Fingers crossed. So I will let you know very soon, um, once I've got these made up, how we get on. But up until then, I will hope you are well. And I will catch up with you all again very soon. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>